This storm was so powerful. It snapped trees. It picked up dumpsters and one landed on this car you see here behind me and take a look at that. That is a multi car pile up in this parking lot. That's a tornado. Yo, that the tornado. Holy this is the view that Stone Kershaw had from his Palm Beach Gardens apartment as the funnel cloud came closer. Tornado, 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 tornado. Holy shit. Holy shit. There's just a wall of white, just rain. That's all I saw. After it passed, he saw even more jaw dropping images. Light poles ripped from the ground, trees down, his car and dozens of others badly damaged. This pile up of vehicles is just outside his unit. I'm glad to be alive and glad no one's injured and glad we're here to live another day. And oh my God, it's like right in front of, oh my God. Caught in the tornado, these cars traveling down PGA Boulevard near US 1. This car going airborne, then crashing down. The facade is now missing on Eagle Cleaners, a dry cleaning business at that intersection. And the homes behind it also badly damaged. In the busy residential and business district, many are now shaken. It was crazy. Nothing I ever seen. I come outside and there's there's cars all over the place, branches down, the, the, the ceilings off the roof. It was nuts. Jennifer, a server at Lemoncello, says the staff huddled together in their bathroom, then came outside to find nearly all of their vehicles damaged. Uh, my pal Diego, his car is destroyed, no windows. My friend um, Valentina, no windows, cars on top of each other. Bushes down, tree, tree branches down. See that palm tree over there? It's ridiculous. Trees will need to be removed, windows boarded up, power restored. A long road ahead for the people and employees along this corridor. Traffic lights out, trees down all along PGA Boulevard near the intersection of US 1. This is why police had to shut down this part of the road for part of Saturday evening so the crews could work to clean it up. Reporting in Palm Beach Gardens, I'm Danielle DeRoss, CBS 12 News.